we're going to make something new, totally new. I have these two and a half inch, they're about two and a half inch uh, blocks that I've cut out, out of cardboard. And I have two sets, uh, I mean I have three sets with two cards for each. And we're going to make artists um, decor blocks or for your coffee table or something like that where you're having um, you want to put some art and people kind of play with it and be interactive with your art and that's what it is people can stack and play with them or whatever while they're visiting it is um, mixed media um, art that is touchable and stackable and that's what it's going to be for your table and just something for a, a conversation piece and like oh what's this what did you make that for that kind of a thing so what we're going to do to begin with is we're going to have these cardboards we are going to kind of do a get your masking tape out uh scrap pieces of cardboard in between so i have four in between and we're going to glue them all separately and glue them all secure then we're going to tape them and do a little bit of a uh, paper towel cover over top. So like a, um, we're going to, oh dear, brain can't think, um, paper mache with paper towel over top. So there's one. So it, this is totally off the top of my head. This is totally a piece that I want to have when my neighbors come over. I want them to like, hey, what's this? you know, when we have a card night or whatever, something totally different that they don't feel that they're scared to touch. They want to touch it because it looks so cool and it's right there on the coffee table. So that's what this is. So it's a fun little piece. You know some places have like little uh, fruit in the bowl type of thing or the little uh, the spheres, spheres. Is that how you say it? Spears? Spears in the bowl. I was going to say balls, but okay, so I did say it after all. In the bowl, and people want to touch them and that kind of thing. Well, we're making our own decor. And I didn't want to make them totally block, like a square block. I wanted to make my own. This is like our own thing. So that's what we're doing. Our own style. Um, you guys can make them more of a square if you want. I am making them like this. I want them nice and sturdy and people to be able to play with. And I want to be able to just do a little paper mache with the um, napkin or the uh, paper towel. And I'm only going to need a couple of quote covers pieces of that. So a couple of layers. I can't speak today. What's different than any other day, huh? And so it's going to be our own piece. You can make them match each other. You can make them totally different. You can make a bowl full of square, these little square, uh, rectangular, you know, type of pieces. So it's going to be your decor and it's going to be in your living room and it's going to be something that people can kind of play with. So it's going to be fun. So that's what my plan was to do something totally different and build something fun playful art here that people can kind of play with so I'm doing three like I said you could do as many as you want I'm just gonna show you how three looks together because three is my favorite number it really is it's kind of funny because my mom's number was three his and uh, Cora's my husband's it's kind of funny we all have this happen to have the same favorite number and it's not made up. We all have the same favorite number without telling each other. So that's kind of cool. Anyways, there we go. The second one. And the third. And the third. I'm using uh, uh, Aileen's Tacky Glue. It's my favorite. Although this um, lid is really... It's great because it stays upside down. But I have to use so much hand muscles. Ugh. Crazy. You guys can do uh, collage paper on here. You can do your, you know, pets, pictures of your pets, or you can just paint on it and you can do whatever you want for the outer 
piece. You can make it look like a metallic. Um, you can make it look like different textures and that kind of thing. So anything it goes kind of thing. You could put pictures of the kids on there, grandkids, that kind of thing too, where people have to turn them over and look at them. So it's fun. It's art that you can kind of live with and play with. And I love that kind of art. People love that kind of art when they come over and they're like touching it. So it's all good. One more. Voila, one more. So then that's the center. Now just like when you're doing other projects with paper mache that I kind of been showing you guys. Pushing that down. I just tape the edges. And this is going to be a really fast paper mache. It's not going to take you forever because it's only like a little project, but it's going to be so fun. You get you get to play with it for one and uh do your own little spin on your table art kind of thing that people can play with. Interactive art. That's what I call it. I'm not going to fill it in anymore, but if you do feel like you want to fill it in anymore, you can throw some foil around there or whatever, but I think it's good. Or you could throw some paper, um, paper towel in there to make it more full, but I think it's good for myself. So I leave it. So you're going to have these pieces just like this. They're going to be really cool. Just taping here more. Taping it. And so I'm just using a thicker uh, tape, and then the thinner one goes around the edge. That's what I'm using. And I got this uh, Dermax tape from Dollar Store here in, in Airdrie, the, tent, the city next to me. So I don't know if you guys have access to the dollar store or, but I, you know, do your best in what you can get, what you get. So anyways, I thought this would be really fun because like you can do rectangles, uh, triangles, you can even do round ones. That would be fun. Do total, uh, <laughs> all the shapes. But I thought it'd be really cool to put your art on it and to like... Now I'm just going to be adding some glue. I'm using Mod Podge. To my artist blocks, which will be decorative artist blocks and still haven't made up my mind on what I'm going to put on them but I'm thinking I'm going to put some kind of neat inspirational words or something like that so I like that idea so here they go getting the paper towel on them and this is going to be a bit of a messy job with gluey fingers but it's going to be really cool piece after and that people can kind of touch and look at and this is what I have so far I have these blocks papered mache with the napkins and they're pretty good I'm thinking I'm going to gesso them black just because I'm not really sure what I want to do with them and so I'm going to get the black gesso and start gessoing them wet my brush and start gessoing them because I just don't know what other colors or what I want to do yet. So gotta start with something. So I'm just gonna do that. Um yeah. Take my time and uh do one <laughs> side at a time. So I have still no idea what I want to put in the background. I'm gonna go with a little bit of red. Let's see.
I'm just playing with it now. And I'm going to go blue or teal turquoise or something, deep turquoise, but whatever. I know I have the black gesso, so it makes it really dark, but I want to do, I just kind of want to play with it. So I'm not really having um, an idea. I just have these colors kind of that I want to put in there and then some kind of really nice words or something like that. So I'm going to go with the yellow. And the yellow is school bus yellow. And I'm just like I said, just playing. So it's not plan, it's just a play. And I thought these are the primary colors. I'm gonna play with them, so let's do that. And yeah. There we go. Dry those up. So I pretty much have these colors dry. They look shiny, but they are dry. They look wet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go red, blue, yellow, and do the opposite. Red, blue, yellow. Just because I want to. Why not? Do the opposite side like that. I have no plan guys so you guys can do white gesso you can do book paper red did I say blue yes blue and then yellow that's how the pattern I had before um you can do book paper you can do whatever you want I just decided to I don't know this kind of have a little funky keeping with the three colors and see what I can do with it. I might end up adding more, but just wanted the base at least to be the three colors right now. So. This is kind of just like a play, fun play at art and um, little art blocks that we can build with and play with and have people touch. So. Now I'm going to dry those up. I'm going to add a little bit more red because I think I kind of got the red really funky looking here. <laughs> really funky. There we go. I'm going to dry that up. Okay. I was kind of thinking about this and I'm going to go a little bit. I got white. White paint, not just so. Go a little over. Over this. And see what I can do with it to make it look funky. Just trying things out. And just putting some white over it. Try the other side. I'm going to do that. I don't know, I have no idea yet yet what I want, but I do want like a, I just want a mixed, really crazy piece. They're both really wet, so I don't want to, do I want a white, I'm going to go white. This is just white paint on the gesso now. I'm just kind of going to go crazy with it. I'm going to wipe it off in a second here, dry brushing it on. You guys can go totally crazy different with it, but I still am working on like what is my plan. So I'm going like Partridge Family, but totally crazy. <laughs> so <laughs> that's kind of how I feel. Partridge Family gone crazy with the colors. Anyway, 
red, yellow, and blue. Oh, look at that. Got I don't have enough red. Red, yellow, and blue. Red, yellow. Well, I got more blue than... No, I don't. Clarissa! Yeah, so, the, yeah. Going for the, the Partridge Family Cray Cray look. I'm going to add gold to this because I really love gold. And I really do want to put some inspiring words on top. So, And there might end up being some splatters and stuff like that. And like I said, guys, you can do, oops, there's my cord to my computer for my webcam that's up there. But um, inspiring words or something like that, you know, on there afterwards here. But I want to have a really nice, and you can do book paper. There's so much you can do. Even like, um. Um, comic paper, anything like that. So I'm going to go gold, and the gold is glorious gold, uh, elegant finish with um, deco arts. And I'm just going to go over it and rub it off. I'm gonna have like lots of layers here. Having fun with that. And I'm kind of probably not in the camera. Now I'm gonna go wipe that off. This one was yellow. So it's quite yellow <laughs> with the gold, but that's okay. I still don't know what I'm doing, so I'm kind of like, hey, let's add gold. I'm going like really rough on it, guys. There we add. Wow, I don't know what I did there. Maybe I add gold to that one, right? There we go. There's the goal. So this is what I've come up with so far. Not um hmm. not a great plan. This is what I've come up with so far. And I want to put more stuff on it. It seems really plain, but it's really cool and exciting so far. So here's what I got. Look at the black gesso, the red. I really rubbed down in it. And then the gold on top. So that's really cool. And it's really got to dry more here too. It's kind of leathery right now. And you can see it's moving. It's kind of leathery right now. And this one's the yellow, the gesso on it, and the yellow and the gold on top. And this one is the same. And this one's the red. So that's what they look like so far, and I still have to make a plan of what I want to do with them. So I tested all these pens out on paper as well as um, some paint, dried paint. I'll show you. And just can see that I doodled on that dry paint there just to see. <laughs> um, if I can doodle on these, and I'm going to do kind of some doodle art on these, I think. And 
try to Got green. Kind of do scratch doodly art stuff. See how that turns out. We could always cover it up. If we don't like it. And play with it. His body's a little small on the small side, but getting the gist of it. And yeah, I'm just gonna play. Play with what I have. I'm gonna use my black marker right here. See how much we can do here. I got gold on there, so then even writing on the red should come out, pop out a bit there, and it does. So that's kind of cool. You can see when you look at it. Little scratches of red. So that'll be neat. Give it some dimension and texture. So I'm just going to keep doodling away, guys. That could be boring so I'm just gonna I don't know I'm coming back with a few more doodly scratches on this one looks looking good see it's hard for me to doodle for you guys on here here's what it's looking like and so I'm just kind of putting these little whatever will go on nicks or whatever will go on here like this and try to get a little bit of a interesting look might be writing too fast don't know pushing too hard with the paint paint is dry it's been dry for overnight so that's important with these And yeah, I'm just making more dually marks. This one turned out really cute. Doodle scratch art type stuff. This is my love one. There we go. That one turned out really cute. Next one's coming along. Just doing some scratching here and there. Get some color in there. It's primitive art, but it's there. It's it's cute. So it's something different I wanted to do. So I could do collage as well. And that kind of thing, but. Just playing with it. There we go. That's how that one's looking. It's pretty cute, to be honest. I like it. To be honest, it's really cute. So I'm just going to kind of make some circles here and there. It's 
some more scratching and that kind of thing. A few more hearts. A few more doodles here and there. And I think that one's done. that one focus just the primitive fun stuff just doodling on this one now so kind of just playing around scratching some stuff in there got some flowers happening a couple of them stamped out image and that's this guy it looks a little messed but it's kind of like primitive look and I got him like put too much heat on him I think but there we go that's a cute one too so I'm just kind of dueling away with that one and then that will be the third one done on the side so just adding some marks and some stuff that I like. And I think this one's already done with that. So now I'm just going to work on the opposite sides after I kind of just let them dry really well. And that's kind of cool. I got the little love on there as well. So I like that. I might just stamp happy on there. I don't care if I have like too much. It's going to look cute. See, there we go. I like that. It's just cute. Got some matte glue sealer. I'm just going to see how this is going <laughs> to seal and hopefully this works. I might have to spray on there very gently, but since it's on, it's kind of smearing already. Got to be very gentle because it's on such silky surface that it might and the pens yeah it looks like it's smearing so that I'm gonna have to be very careful of it's gonna be very careful Ooh. that might have to be sprayed there's my first one it's quite oh not even in the it's smeared quite a bit just on the edges so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try again with this one yeah, it's smearing on the edges. Not the permanent ink from the stamp, but the pens. So it's getting it a bit. So to make it kind of match now. Now I'm going to have to spray the rest because I don't want to smear everything I've done. And I know there's a lot of glare from the light. I had, sorry, get my coffee, put um, some protecting spray on there. I just put um, acrylic sealer from Americana. And um, it did smear a bit here, but I was careful just going the edges and see how it worked. And it didn't work for the... Um, paint on the uh, matte finish type of there I'm just putting some sprin sprinkles on it um, matte sealer finish there so that didn't work I'm just getting some of this um, my misters here shimmering misters and I'm just putting some dabs of a few more dabs of um, bladder and that's it for that then I just want to dry that off and maybe add a little bit more sealer but I just want to do that add a little bit of this dabs of paint now I'm gonna dry this off um, and then finish up the rest and then the back side and then show you guys at the end 
for this one, I added a stencil of the face here from Andy, Skin Andy Skinner. So here's the stencil from Deco Art, and I just put the lips down and the nose, and then smushed the eyes down, made it look kind of like a clown face. Did the smile stamp on top, and the joy stamp in the bottom, kind of made it look like a sketchy clown face and then I colored in with the white in the background and made the cheeks and all that kind of stuff so that's that one just thought I'd show you this one decided to do the umbrella and I'm instead of stenciling it I'm just gonna ink it in doodle over it and get that in like that with the red tip marker like this one here and just go to town with that and get the umbrella in there like that, a doodle crazy umbrella. So I just want to get that little tip in there. So these are the finished blocks now. Um, I did stenciling on one side, so I thought that was kind of neat, and I did the stencil here for here, and I just moved it to make it fit nice. Um, I also did the um, Andy Skinner stencil for the dog and the umbrella. So these are the stenciled sides. I thought that was cute. And this is my doodle side, so I got a little bit of both. And there's my stencil side here. And it's a little blurry. And my doodle side. So I kind of like that. It's pretty cool. So I got a stencil side played with that. And a doodle side. Which has worked out really perfect for me. So that is the done piece now. Now I just got to put them upstairs and let people play with them. And kind of just do whatever they want with them. Build them up. Um look at them play with them it'll be something they can kind of play with and touch and look at so that's my artist blocks um and i hope you guys give it a try don't forget to craft like a duck and i'll talk to you guys later Bye bye